Good morning, Velma Hagar here. <laughs> We're going to talk about, and I've done this before, but I feel like it needs to be done again. Honor your mother and your father. Now, we know that, I believe it's the fourth commandment, and I could be wrong on that, so don't call me out if I am. But there's more to that. It says, honor your mother and your father that it may go well for you and you will live long in the land. You know, that is the only uh, one of the Ten Commandments that has a caveat attached to it. That it may go well for you and you may live long in the land by honoring your mother and your father. Now, what I really want to talk about today is what it means to honor them. It, it means to show them great respect. It means to lift them above others. It means to elevate. If you look it up, the word honor in Webster's Dictionary, which I love Webster's because, you know, it's our English language and we can really dissect some of the things we hear in the Bible from Webster's. But now, this is the real thing here. Some of us had parents that they flat out don't deserve honoring. They were horrible. Some of them are horrible. I think Joyce Meyer had a dad like that that sexually abused her. How do we honor someone who did horrible things to us? I had a dad that was very difficult to honor, very difficult. And I have a friend who recently, I, I cried when I read her story of how her dad literally just got in there and jacked around with her life. She was an only child. Born, her mother died at giving her birth, and she was had this only, the only uh, relative she had was her dad, and he was horrible. He gave her away to her mother, to her grandma, but worse than that, he treated her horrible. In the end, she had to, she got arrested because she, for for uh, elder abuse. So he gets sick, and now he wants her, and she, you know. Anyway, on and on. The story goes on and on. And it was so sad because, you know what? How do you honor a parent like that? How in the heck do you do it? This is what I think. This isn't in the Bible. But this is what I think, knowing God like I do. God knows every wound. He knows every hurt you have. And I personally think you honor your parents when you do what is right. When you live a life that would honor them that would show honor to them. That, to me, is the, sometimes all you can do. That and to verbally forgive them, even if it's not in your heart, you say it out loud, and you ask God to help you. What thing my new, my new nail polish? Look at I just got to look. <laughs> okay, so you ask God to help you with that forgiveness. You try to forgive them. But doggone, it's not easy when you've had a jerk for a parent. So this is what I did. This is how, what really helped me with my dad. As the years went by, he became very pitiful. You know, he used to be a mean and, you know, cuss and rant and rave and beat my mother and, you know, awful, come home drunk and just, just terrorize the whole family. But as the years went by, he got real pitiful. By the time I got married, he was pitiful. He was a pitiful drunk that lived in the streets. The way, and I didn't know the Lord real well. I was raised Catholic, but I never really found God. I never, I found God, but I never found Jesus, and I never made Jesus the Lord of my life as a Catholic. You can do it as a Catholic, but I didn't. I, they don't push it like some of the other churches do. So I didn't really know my father like I know him now. So I didn't know how to go to him. I did pray every night, but I prayed for functional prayers. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. I prayed stuff like that, you know. But what I learned by being a good person, I grew up a good person in spite of my dad. And I learned that if I could feel sorry for him, I didn't hate him. So that's how what I did. I used my ability for humanity, to love humanity, to feel sorry for this man. And in doing that, I actually forgave him. So that worked. 
that worked. You know, you can look at someone that's horrifying, even like Charles Manson, let's say, horrible man, you know, and you can say, you know, I really have compassion. God, he must really be tweaked to do what he did. And so if you can get your pl yourself to a place of compassion, it says Jesus looked at the masses and he was moved to compassion. So I think that is my answer to being able to honor a parent who doesn't deserve it. You know, you don't know what's in their heart. You know, sometimes little things happen to them in their life. Who knows? But I think alcohol and drugs are demons that get into them, and then they are people. My dad wasn't a bad person. My dad was addicted to alcohol, and alcohol made him crazy. Look, at I talked so, and I had so much more to say. <laughs> Don't gum it. Oh, well, I'll have to hang, I'll have to close now, because you guys have, I know your attention span is only that long, and, you know, I'm even lucky to get you to watch five minutes, much less a 10-minute video. So, honor your mother and your father that it may go well for you, may, that it may go well for you. If you're not honoring your mom and dad, look at your life. See what's going on there. I, I will tell you this, God's word is true. If he says it, it's true. Honor your mother and your father. And if you have a good one, you better be honoring them properly by lifting them above and showing them favor. If you have a really rough time doing it, try the compassion thing and try taking it to God. God, I need your help. I'm having a hard time honoring this person. Help me. He will. He will. And buy my book, Hidden Treasures in Secret Places. I got the best review from the Reader's Book Club. Oh my gosh, it was so good. They actually read my book and gave me this great review, and I'm so happy. Velma Hagar, you're going to love my book. So filled with treasures. All right, you guys, seven minutes. I just did it anyway. See you next time. Bye.